Yeah, it's all my fault, isn't it? I mean, everything I touch turns to cinders. You know, I've interfered so much that I've pushed them away. You know, I, I offered to step back, but, but it was too late. Well, it, it's only South Africa. Oh, yes. And that's on a number nine bus. Oh, well, well, what I'm saying is it, it could be worse. No, I don't see how. I mean, Angie's jealous of me. Jude respects me. He likes me. She wants to be some kind of first lady in his life. She is his wife, Mary. The mother of his child. And if Angie's so unhappy here, you can't blame Jude for wanting to put it right. Well, like I said before, it's all my fault. And you have overstepped the mark somewhat. Well, some lines need to be crossed. I mean, you're barren, you wouldn't understand. I just hope Jude changes his mind, and quick, before that plane takes off. So, I was thinking, as you don't go back to school until next week and you're feeling so much better... Mm -hmm. that. How about we have a really nice day out? Like what? How about a belated birthday celebration for your dad? Yeah? Meal out? Guys? You with me? What's wrong? The social worker's gonna let me stay, isn't she? After what you did. Nothing's changed about that, has it? Oh, Summer, it, Summer, Summer, don't worry ahead about that, okay? You know, Peter's not getting the police involved. At the end of the day, it's just... It's just two silly dads having a fair fight. Well, that's good, cos it's not like you really meant to hurt him. Of course he didn't. You know, anyway, just say a few genuflects and you'll be fine. Hey, Father? I'm having a little pick and mingle later, so I'll need you to help out. I might be a campaign manager, but I'm not your maid. No, it's work. It is work. It's councillor stuff. We've got some councillors coming over. If you want to hear all about my policies. All right, count me in. Do you want me to get some frozen pizzas from Devs? No, it's all right. I'm going to get some light bites from Fresh Goes. All right, fair enough. Um, Sal, how much does a campaign manager make? <laughs> Not much, but a bit. Who was that from? Oh, it's a bank statement. So, how much is a bit? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Angie's upstairs packing. She likes airports. Oh. Trick is the food you eat there has no oh. calories in it. I can't believe I'm saying goodbye to you again. Not quite how I saw it. We're working out. I know it's tough, saying goodbye to a little then. But it's something I've had practising. I didn't want to give you up, Jude. Look, there's no point. I had little choice in the matter, you know this. I wonder... No. What? Well, could I take him out for a bit on my own before you go? Of course. <laughs> Anna, can I have a couple of post eggs, please? Yeah. yeah. But not too fresh, you know, like a, like a runny. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, but not too runny. Are they are they are they like fresh? No, Dev, the leftover from the May Blitz. Why don't you go and take a seat, eh? And I'll bring them over, and then you can give me mine out of ten. Excellent. Uh, slice of toast. Coffee to go, please, Anna. Hey, hi, Seb. You all right, love? Well, I suppose. Might want to tell your face that, mate. Well, I, uh, I asked Phelan for a pay rise. And? He sucked me. And how's Mary doing? Oh, she's, uh, well, <laughs> obviously she's, she's very sad having to say adieu mm. to Jude. Oh, bless her. Can't be easy. No, and it's, it all seems so... Horribly inevitable, really. I mean, what with Angie getting this very good job. Mm. Well, what do you make of it all? Oh, well, it is what it is, isn't it? Is it? Isn't it? Sorry? I... Nothing. Um, no, I've, I've probably got it wrong. Um, see ya. I got what wrong? Oh, no, take no notice of me. Uh, um, can I just say thank you for... Um, 
yours and Peter's kindness lately. Well, you've been under a lot of stress. And no, it won't be going any further. It is a bit weird, though. I mean, what would he say? Think about these tiles, what? Beers, no arguments. Come on. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Angie's quite upset. Well, we have a plane to catch, and our baby isn't here. But I, I, I'm, I'm sure she won't have gone far. Did she say anything about where she was taking him? I just assumed around the block. Are you just assuming the pilot of our plane's going to hang around on the runway for us to show up? I mean, must be in a hurry. I mean, what with the new job and everything. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh. The taxi's going to be here in two minutes. I'm going to have to cancel it. She wouldn't have done anything on purpose. Uh, to try ringing her again. What if something's happened to him? It, I'm sure he'll be fine. Where are the passports? Has she hidden them? They're here. Right, I'm calling her. Mum? Oh, hello, Jude. What a beautiful afternoon it's been. Audley Edge looks so pretty in the sunlight. That said, it, it's been an absolute nightmare. Oh, yeah, the, the van's broken down. Ooh. A thousand apologies. I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye. Now, you and I have all the time in the world together. Yes, we do. So, shall we see if you like mushed up bananas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the day off. Really. Got to clean out the outhouse at some point. <laughs> oh, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> no, listen, Jace. Jace, my phone's dying. I don't know where my charger is. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, I love you lots. Miss you, miss you. people. Told them time is of the essence. Yeah, they're sending somebody out to... Oh, I, I think I see the man coming now. I'll speak to you in a bit. So who am I meant to be, then? E, the RAC. Kevin Webster. Hello, Adam. Were you after a posy? Isn't he meant to be jetting off somewhere today? I'm not a very nice person. I don't get it. You're right. They're meant to be going back to South Africa. And I thought this way, they might miss their flight. <laughs> you don't want to lose them, right? Right. Well, I don't think this is the best way of going about it, do you? <laughs> might be time to do the right thing before you lose them all for good. 
Extra shifts? Well, purse strings are tight, kid. <laughs> and what with Chesley being abroad, and I know that Cathy's doing more shifts down at the kebab shop, I, well, I thought I could cover hers here. No, know? listen, honey, I don't know if I And let's face it, I would be a massive asset to your brand. Yeah, how's that? Oh, don't you know? Yeah. I'm uh, Sally's new campaign manager oh. for my sins. Well, so doesn't that mean you're going to be too busy to do extra shifts? <laughs> You know, a lot of folk round here will think my life is like an episode of House of Cards. No, nope, I don't watch it. <laughs> no, neither do I. But, Dev, mm -hmm. you see, the thing is with me, yeah. I like to live life to the max, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like to be busy 24-7. <laughs> I'm like that song in the 90s, you know, by Two Unlimited. Do you what? No, no. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> what are you doing, love? Oh! I'm sorry, love. Good morning to frighten you. I'm cleaning out the shed. How are you? <laughs> Let's do something nice and clean out the shed. I can't feel it. I know. Oh! <laughs> Call her again. She's probably not picking up because she's driving. <sighs> yeah, fingers crossed. <sighs> this is ridiculous. How do we even know she's telling the truth? She could be halfway to France by now. Oh, that's very unlikely. I didn't even know she had a van. She has a work van for delivering flowers. <sighs> Look, I know she's your friend and I know she's your mum, but I'm really thinking we should call the police. Ah. Oh, thank God for that. Steve, see? Where have you been? You know where she's been. Oh, what an adventure. Sorry, sorry. Time ran away with me and then, and then we had the breakdown. Give him to me. Is he OK? Of course he's OK. Oh. Little brusque there, Angie. Well, are you surprised? We better be making track. Oh, I know what you want and you're not going to get it. And do you know what your husband wants? So haven't you bothered to ask? Please. No, 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 no. You can't just go around stealing babies, you know. Stealing? Angie, keep your voice down. Mum's explain where she's been. I'm his grandmother. All I've ever wanted to do was help. But you didn't help today, getting broken down in... Where was it? We better be going. Is that what you want, Jude? You really, really want? Oh, come on, Jerry Alliwell. You must be able to remember where you broke down. We've only just found each other. And, and she wants to drag you away. Come on, Mary. Spit it out. Where were you? Where were you? Um, well? well? I've oh, forgotten, uh, I've forgotten. What? Mary? Well, I've forgotten because I can't remember where I said. Because, yes, it was a lie. It was a... It was a quiet act of desperation. You have every reason to hate me, but let's be honest. That die was cast a long time ago. I think you owe me an apology. And Chesney sent them to you? Mm. All the way from Portugal. Well, he got Tracy to walk it over with the flowers, but it's really sweet, isn't it? Yeah. And you've made it quite clear you're off limits to any roving eyes. Who'd be after me and you? Congratulations tonight. <laughs> I'm stuffed. Didn't think it was humanly possible to eat that many dough balls. <laughs> oh, is no one serving? Yeah, Toya is. She just popped to the loo. Oh. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, why she got a balloon with finance written on it, weirdo? Says fiancé. Oh, he's branded her. <laughs> like cattle. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get the drinks in? I'm just going to go get some fresh air. Are you all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? I'm not blind, Daniel. And I'm not in the mood to be patronized. That's the last thing I do. To you, especially. 
So go back inside, Dad. I'm fine, honestly. He's patronizing now. Please! Bye. See you, love. Hiya. Hey, I've got some bits for you. Oh. Don't you feel like this is a food bun? Oh, stop yourself. We can't see you going hungry, can we? I'll stay kind of you. Yeah, well, tell the Pope I might be a saint come Christmas. <laughs> Ooh. Well, love ham, especially when it's out of a tin. Yeah, well, just be careful of a little twisty thing on it when you open it. Yeah. Oh, Sab, I'm dead sorry you're out of a job. No. I'll look on the bright side. Now at least I've got more time on my hands to look after the twins. Oh, no, no, you can't give up, sweetheart. You know, you've got so much going for you. Yeah, but apprenticeships are hard to come by. It's not like how it was in your day, you know? No, 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 it's so unfair. I mean, who's going to want to take on a young offender like me? Well, I might know of a place that'll take you on. Um... Hey? Don't tell why I've shut up shop. Come on. Some more bread. I've had loads. Some olives? Don't like him. Mm. Please, can we order? Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. I think we've waited far too long for you know who. You can always play catch up when he gets here, so. Oh, garlic mushrooms. I know who likes those. Hmm? And a crispy duck salad. Hmm? Should I be the same at that Chinese place? Yeah, yeah, I reckon so. We can always, uh, always ask him. We can ask, but oh no, we can't. He stood us up. Hey, so my Billy, he's a good man, OK? No matter what, don't ever forget that. And he's going to be here any minute, OK? Like he pass up the chance of a slap up me with the most gorgeous girl in the world. Who could you possibly mean? <laughs> well, I don't mean her. She's got a face like a camel chewing toast. <laughs> Oh, they got fish, chips and peas. Hmm? Is that another garden or mushy? Well, if they're garden, I'll mush them up for you with your big musher. You know, he didn't half give us a fright the other day, you know? I'm sorry. No, listen, it's not your fault. It's not. Because I know we've had a bit of, um... a rocky start. But call me a soppy old beggar. Please don't be a soppy old beggar. <sighs> So I can't imagine my life without you. That is way gross. Oh, they've got Rocky Road Pie to go with our Rocky Star. <laughs> I'll tell you what, OK. Let's call it a Rocky Start Pie, hmm? I feel the same, you know. My dad made a good choice choosing you and Billy as my new dads. OK. OK, from now on, we are the three amigos. OK? Nothing and no one is going to come between us. Agreed? Agreed. Put it there. All right. Hi. Can I help you? I'm, um... I'm here to confess an assault. Peter Barlow. See? Is that I was being cruel, suggesting she was lying? The truth is, what you're doing is wrong. The only thing I'm doing is trying to get as far away from you as possible. I think you've said enough, Mary. Where is this taxi coming from, anyway? Glasgow. Could have walked to the airport by now. You speak very rudely to him sometimes. Oh, and he speaks rudely to me sometimes. It's called being in a relationship, something you clearly don't know anything about. Mary. Don't interrupt, Norris. Oh, starting on your friend now, are you? Well, cancel this and call streetcars. That's what I said to do in the first place. See, you're at it again. Who asked you? Please, could you all shut up? You don't speak to me like that. Oh, geez, there's something wrong with the baby. Baby. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. You look like you've enjoyed that. Mm, might have. <laughs> See you. See you. 
Here you are. I'll put the kettle on. Street returns in half an hour. Wait! Just wait! How much is he paying you, Vinny? I'll pay you double. Come on, you're not a mug, are you? Just wait. Hey, you don't wear that, do you? Okay. Just there. Uh... Summer and when I found out that she'd been given the drug spice by one of her so-called friends. When was this? Um, a few days ago. But it, it turns out that the lad that gave it to her, he's, um, he's a neighbour. Somebody that I'd trusted to help her settle in. I just... I flipped. Um, I attacked his dad, Peter Barlow. If Mr. Barlow decided not to report the incident, why are you here? I'm a vicar. How am I meant to look my parishioners in the eye? Preaching honesty and doing the right thing if I don't do the same myself. Besides, I, uh, I know all these things eat away at you. What I did was wrong. I deserve to be punished for it. OK. We'll take a full statement. Then we'll contact Mr. Bardo and take a statement from him. Excuse me, I need some help. I sorted. It's my son, he's eight months old. He was fine the next minute he started screaming, his eyes were rolling. He's never sick. I'll get a hold of someone for you. No, did anything happen when you were with him? We need to know the truth. Of course not. I would have warned you. What was he agitated? No. Are you sure? Oh, she said no. Oh, I'm sorry, Norris. Sorry for being a bit sceptical. She's already lied about the van. Maybe she's lying about this. Let's just focus on George, OK? Come through. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, love. It's me. Yeah, I just want to know what time will you be home, love? Give me a call, will you? Okay, thanks. Bye. <sighs> Love, it's me. You come home as soon as you get this message. Three-piece suite. We're a taxi firm, pal, not a removal company. Yes, thank you. Return to base. Just waste of time being sorry. He hates my guts. No, he doesn't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Hates a very strong word. Well, I could think of a stronger one. Well, let's just go. No, not until I've said what I've came to say. Now, what... Hey, you haven't seen Gina, have you? No. Oh, great campaign manager she is. I can't get hold of her. I've got colleagues coming in half an hour. I need someone to hand round the nibbles. Well, don't look at me. If I see her, I'll tell her that you're looking for her love. Look, I know you don't trust him. I mean, neither did I. Nobody would be good enough for Arfe, would they? Well, that's not true. A nice, polite young man with no criminal record would roll out the red carpet. Well, you're one to talk, aren't you? Because you weren't exactly an angel when you were a kid. All right, fair point. Yeah, you know, I think that he's a decent lad. Yeah, and I think with the right support and encouragement, you know, he can straighten himself out, can't you? Yeah. yeah. You don't want charity, do you? No. No, he just wants the chance to prove himself, don't you? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. 
So how are you fixed for giving him a job? Eileen, this is the third time I've called you. Call me, please, love. You're okay. Well, why wouldn't I be? Where have you been? I've been ringing you. I walked in to list, I went for a drink. The doctor said, What's the matter? Why are you asking me for more, am I? <sighs> Some nutter made a hoax call, said you'd been involved in an accident. Do you do something like that? I ah, know, horrible. God, you really had me going, huh? Oh, well, I'm fine. <sighs> Thing can't be said for you. What have you done to your arm? I don't know, it's scratched it at work. <sighs> Thought you had a job. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, you, you can't expect Pat Feeling, can you, to set an example? Was he sacked, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. only because she told me to demand he put my wages up. Yeah. I'm sorry, but no, no. Look, I, I've, I've got sympathy, but no. Well, do you know what? I thought that you would be prepared to give him a chance. You know, like people gave you a chance. But I was wrong. Come on, Seb. Hello, uh, streetcars. Wasn't just a meal out. We're supposed to have a chat with her so she doesn't get a shock when she sees Peter. I'm sorry. Was she upset? I was. I to cover your back. Convinced that you do want her, that you've not taken too much on. No. Is that what she thinks? I think I got through to her. <sighs> Said you were like a doctor on call, but for God. I wasn't on church business. I went to the police station to tell them the truth about what I'd done to Peter. Are you mad? Probably. I had to do it. I can't live with the lies. I've, I've got to set Summer a good example. All right, is that what you're going to tell her when we go and see her at a new home? Because when social services finds out about this, there's no way they're going to let us stay in, no, Billy! I don't wear this as fancy dress. People have expectations of me. I've got expectations of myself. I... I can't be part of a crew. You have jeopardised everything when there was no need. I think I'm a better dad for telling the truth. And that is all I've done. I've told the truth. Why is that such an anathema to you? What happens now? Go on. Well, they couldn't get hold of Peter, so they released me on bail, but. Depending on what Peter says, I could be arrested and charged with ABH. I think I might go and pray. If anything happens to him, I'll never forgive myself. It's not your fault. Well, it certainly didn't help. I was too wrapped up in my stupid plan to make them miss their flight. How is he? I need to do some tests and keep an eye on him, but they think he's got some kind of viral infection. She said the best thing now is for him to get plenty of sleep and fluids. Oh, thank goodness. Well, maybe you should stay a while. A and wait till he's made a full recovery. Oh. That's for us to decide. Well, is it, is it wise to take him on a long-haul flight before he's fully recuperated? No, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm an absolutely rubbish mother. That's what you think, isn't it? Why don't you just come out and say it? I'm doing my best, OK? Mrs Appleton, have you got a moment? 
day. Feeling like you can't cope doesn't mean you're not looking after George properly. Well, I must be doing something wrong. Otherwise, why else do I feel this way? Why do I feel like I haven't bonded with him? And I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just tired all the time, every day. And I can't tell anybody because they're going to think I'm a bad mother and it's proof that I am. You're not a bad mother. I promise. Well, that's what his nan thinks. I'm sure she means well. Maybe you should tell her what you've told me. And your husband. They might be able to help. I've been awful to them. It's quite common to feel like you haven't bonded with your baby. It may be that you're suffering from postnatal depression. No. No, I don't think so. And I should be getting back to George, so... Angie, look. Um, uh, I'll take these. Read them. Please uh, read through them. And talk to your husband and George's nan. You need support right now. Thanks for nothing. Find Gina anywhere. She's useless. They're gonna be here in a bit. What's up with you? Well, Anna's just asked me to give Seb a job. Seb? Yeah, I said no, and I feel guilty. You know what it's almost like. Oh, Tim, I wouldn't worry about it. These things have a habit of working themselves out. Oh, they're here. I better go. Enjoy your soiree. Thank you so much for coming. Right, if I give him a job, I'll keep him on a very tight leash. Well, you can muzzle him if it'll keep him out of young offenders. Are you saying you're going to give him a job? Yeah, I'll give him a trial. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Nice one. See? I told you it'll all turn out. I know she's upset. There's no need for her to have a go at Mary. She's experienced looking after children. She's been looking after Addie and Asha for years. It's no use, Norris. I've lost their trust. This time tomorrow, you'll be thousands of miles away, and he'll grow up without knowing me, just like you did. What's that doctor doing in there? They've been ages. Are you okay? What does she want? Uh, just to talk about his sleep patterns and stuff. Look, I've been thinking maybe we can stay a bit longer. There's no real rush. I'd love that. Can I just say, there's no agenda for this. I just wanted to invite you all here to join me for a glass of vino and, well, at this time, I could talk through my key pledges. Well, oh, Pop's the cloven hoof. Well, surely you want to quiz me on why I'm the only choice for mayor and hear all about my healthcare policies and transport proposals. Dev! 
Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, well, I'm one of uh, Sally's uh, biggest uh, supporters. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I was a Sally skeptic, but I've just had the most passionate exchange of views with the new campaign manager, Gina. Oh, happy now. Uh, yeah, he took some wooing, yeah. but finally melted when I pressed him <laughs> on the issues that really mattered. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is amazing. Like a real asset to the uh, campaign. Uh, I'm a total uh, convert. Uh, now I went from undecided to a rock solid, uh, fan fanatical uh, uh, Sally and Nista. How's everybody doing? Well, you better not let me down. I won't. Hey, it'll reflect bad on me as well as you. What will? Well, I've uh, I've got a new job. Really? Yeah, yeah. Your dad's giving me a job helping Sophie with the round. Oh no way. Yeah, start tomorrow. Are you pleased? Yeah, I'm just surprised. Yeah. I mean, he was completely anti at first, but then your mum talked him round. Really? Oh, yeah, she's ace your love, you know. Yeah, she is. I've uh, got the wrong textbook. Uh, well, come on, don't just stand there. Get peeling these carrots. And, and listen, I, um, I can't do our usual time tomorrow. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, like I said, love, I won't be long. Oh, you seen that? What's happened? Yeah, sorry, love. I knocked it off the sideboard. It's our wedding photo. I know, love. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll sort it. In fact, I'll get it reframed. Oh, listen, just for my peace of mind, put the deadlock on, eh? Now, you told me to connect with the voters, so I did. You're meant to take care of my diary, look after my campaign, not jump into bed with the first voter you meet. Well, you'd blow Kirk's campaign out of war if you did so. I dread to think what my colleagues thought. I mean, this is my campaign HQ, not a knocking shot. Oh, what's it got to do with him? I want it to be slick and professional. I mean, Councillor Kane, she's a high Anglican. She won't back me down. My campaign is doomed. I think she saw the funny side. Well, anyway, I've got to get back to the shop. But uh, like I said, Sal, you've got my vote. And you... Mm. Oh, skulking around like a couple of teenagers. Oh, Sal, you won't tell him about me, will you? So he doesn't know about your problems? Well, I find it's not a great chat-up line. <laughs> Don't you think you should be more open with him? Well, no, my luck, it'll probably fizzle out in a couple of days anyway. Yeah, and if it doesn't? and you come crashing down. Well, do you know, this conversation is bringing me down. Fast! He'll probably sleep like a log now. But I'll keep waking up through the night to check on him. You do anyway. You only asked to hiccup and she hasn't been in bed with us. <laughs> Another thing I'm doing wrong. I know I'm a nightmare to be with. I didn't say that. I'm a control freak. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> you see, we're more similar than we like to admit. I like everything done my own way. Mm -hmm. Any more going? Oh, of course. I'll get us another bottle. Have you told your new employer you won't be flying back, yeah? No, not yet. You can't just leave him in the lurch. No, I know. I know. How long are you planning on staying? Oh, stop it, Mary. <sighs> no, it's OK. We need to give this place a chance and then we'll see. You looking for Councillor Metcalf? No, Gina Seddon. I'm Keith Patton, and I'm a High Court enforcement agent. Gina, she, yeah, she um, she used to live here, but she's emigrated to uh, Oz. Did she leave a forward an address, or do I just follow the yellow brick road? The country, Oz. <laughs> I think you're pulling me leg. You're Gina Seddon, aren't you? Try next door. Uh, Councillor Metcalf, you just said. That'll be Mrs. Sally Metcalf. She was guarantor for this loan. I should take the matter up with her. No, 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 don't. No, don't do that, please. It's, um... No, I'm, I'm Gina, and it's my debt, and I... I, I will pay it back, but I, I just need more time, please. I, I, um, I, get, I get paid next week. I'll be back. 
with a warrant that allows me to seize goods to the value of the loan from the debtor or their guarantor. I give you my word. Hey! You got another admirer? <laughs> Well, I don't know about him, but I'm exhausted. And me. In fact, I'm going to take this upstairs and have a nice long soak. Night, night, George. <laughs> Call me if you want anything. I'll be round in the morning. Cheers, Mum. Night, night. Night, night. night. I mean, one minute she's been offered this wonderful job and she has to leave for South Africa, and then at the drop of a hat, the job's put on indefinite hold. Rejoice. It's brought us all together. Yeah, but... Well, I, I still think there's something not quite right. Well, they're staying longer. What's not to like? Yeah, but why would she lie to us? Well, I don't know. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Well. This is what she was talking to the doctor about. Well, you saw how much she drank tonight. I think she's an alcoholic. <sighs> Did she forget something, love? Hello, Flora. Oh, what a nice surprise. Were you expecting someone? Miss Chiropodist always ends up leaving something behind. Starting to think he enjoys me company. <laughs> You'd be a fool not to. <laughs> Talking of company, how do you fancy a little adventure? I promised Harvey that I would treat you to a trip out. Oh, I don't go out, really. Be fine. I've cleared it with all the nurses. They think it would be good for you. It has been a long time since I went to the seaside. Used to love dipping me toes. <laughs> oh, no, I, I can't. M my Harvey's here tomorrow. Here? Here, here? Yes. He's flying back in the morning. And coming straight from the airport. Is he now? Tell you what. Why don't we take him along? Throw him a little welcome home party. Oh. <gasps> Simon and Cheryl and Nicole and Stormzy, just two of the many reasons to catch The X Factor this weekend. The judges' houses await tomorrow at 8.20 and Sunday at 7. But back to this Friday night on ITV is at the end for the Dream Team. It's Cold Feet, up next. capable of looking after myself, let alone a baby. Sweetheart, believe me, we all feel like that and then something just kicks in. But what if it doesn't? Well, you're not going to be on your own, are you? We're going to be there for you. If I can do it, I'm sure you certainly can. And as for your flat being too small, well, Todd slept in a drawer for the first six months of his life, <laughs> on the floor, not in the chest. <laughs> so, look, you were to take this wall back about ten feet, means you could turn your kitchen area into an open-plan living room which means you could turn this front room into a second bedroom, yeah? Great, except I can't afford it. Come on, I'm your own personal builder. 
got to be some advantage to have a me as your dad, hasn't it? Hmm. So if you were to take it on, you'd probably need some help, though, right? Well, it's been the elephant in the room ever since I got here, so why did you sack him? I'm going to go put the kettle on. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh. You should get that scene to. <coughs> Might be infected. Yeah, that's what I've told him. But he's very oh. obstinate, your dad, if you hadn't noticed. <coughs> so, Seb. So, Seb. What did he say? Nothing. But Anna mentioned it. Of course she did. Sorry. I mean, I had to let him go. I like him and everything, but... Now, I'll come over, take another look at the flat, and we'll draw up some new plans, yeah? Great. Tomorrow any good? Uh, no, I've got something on tomorrow, but any time after that, all yours. Well, are you supposed to be starting work with Sophie today? No, no, of course you can't leave the twins on their own. Well, how long do you think she'll be? Yeah, well, well, all right, all right, listen, listen. I'll come round and I'll have them until she gets up. Yeah, well, she'll just have to deal with it. No, I know, I know. All right, well, I'll see you in a bit, love. OK, bye, 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 bye. Don't say anything. I told you. You should <coughs> let that kid get on with it. Well, it's not Seb that I'm worried about, it's the twins. You know, I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to them. They've got a mother. Yes, I know that. You know, if, if I can just let Abby see that, I'm only trying to help. He's just not listening, are you? I, I care about Oh, you know Seb. what? I can't hear anymore. I should get to work. Oh, Kev, I can't help the way that I feel, can I? I'm sorry. Hey, sweetheart. Can I give you a bit of uh, constructive criticism? No, I didn't even actually look at the flipping thing in the first place. Well, you sit there like a sack of spuds. It doesn't exactly say get up and go, does it? I need a new photo. It was bad lighting. No worries. Listen, I've been reading up about these here dating sites, and they reckon it's the personality that women like. <laughs> well, you should hope not. Listen to this. When I'm not driving my cab, I like to play darts <laughs> and have a pint in my local. What's wrong with that? Well, you don't tell him that before you've pulled him, do you? No, that's right, Tim. See, before, it's all like the, uh, I like the, uh, the travel, the nice restaurants, and these are the things that ladies like Odin do. You play a lot of sports. Ah, <laughs> well, they might rumble him on that one, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're not exactly an expert. I mean, you're just as single as I am, isn't you? Well, no, exactly, no. Because uh, me and Gina, you know, that's uh, Sally's sister. She's, um, we got it together. Seriously? Bong. But anyway, this isn't about me, is it? It's about you. And I do believe that I have found the answer to your problem, son. Golf. Play golf for years? Yeah, for all the good it's done, yeah. That's right. You see, now, what you've done is been carried around the course in a buggy. But no more. Because you are going to get fit, and I am going to make sure that you do. Shall I say it again? Next, they'll be expecting this tea on the table when it gets home. <laughs> You're joking. I do more of the cooking than she does. Yeah, it's true. To be fair, I just needed an excuse to get away from the computer screen and Aiden's stuff everywhere. Hard going. It's just tough sounding so upbeat when all you keep getting is knockbacks. Mm. Why don't you make something else? Like what? Well, I don't know, do I? Tops, swimming costumes, I don't know. Well, it's not the product that's the problem. In fact, I wanted to ask your opinion. Very nice, yeah. I'll uh, go and brew up. Well, it looked good to me. <laughs> Mind you, you can't tell till they're on, can you? Well, you use your imagination. I am. No, I'm being serious. I know what I'm working on is good, but without Underworld's name behind it, no one's prepared to take a risk. And who can blame them? Hey, hang on. This doesn't sound like the stroppy go getting all your eye know. Yeah, well, there's only so many times you can be told you're wasting your time before you start believing it. Okay. So you are going to get on that phone and you're not going to come off until you've got at least one meeting in the back, OK? 
You can do this. Yeah, I can. Aye, yeah. aye. Very tasty. Oh, they're a sample. Oh, yeah, sure they are. They, my friend, are going to help her make a fortune. Hi, Mary. Oh, yes, morning. Well, uh, as an expert on the matter, I think they're very sexy, as it goes. Is that sexist or something? Yeah, probably, but we're men 22% of my target customer base, so I need to listen. Thank you. Hey, any time. Right, I better get back. Look, do you mind taking these, mate? Find this fee, if you throw any work my way. I don't suppose you've seen that boyfriend of yours, have you? No, I've not. Sophie's already asked me. So you know he's not even turned up, then? I don't know why you even gave him a job. None of you even like him. My word from lover by a taker. Well, he needs to get his act together. See you later. So you've had no call or text? Not me, no. I think he's cheating on me. <laughs> what? Why? It's just... Being all secretive and won't let me go to his house or meet his family. Hey, I thought you two were dead tired. So did I. Now he's texting her. Well, do you know who she is? No. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, if it was me, I'd have to have it out with him. Or her. Yeah, well, I need to save up a bit first. Don't suppose bricks and mortar come cheap, even if the builder does. You don't need to worry about any of that. Mm. One thing I am worried about is Gary. Well, he doesn't need to find out, does he? Yeah, not about him finding out, about me not telling him. And what good do you think is going to come of that? Well, you said yourself. You wish he'd been around when I was growing up. Yeah, but that was different. How? He's the father. Doesn't he deserve a chance to be a part of his child's life, too? He's already got a kid. Doesn't mean he can't love another, does it? I mean, Eileen doesn't love Todd any less than the brother son, does she? Oh, believe me, there have been times. <laughs> it's not just Gary Wynn that she'd do well to steer clear of. It's the whole family. They poison me. And they all hate me. I can't see this news going down that well at all, if I'm honest. I just... I don't want to be the mum who stopped her kid from seeing their dad. Hey, Nick, you listen to me. That kid's got all the family they need right here. Anyway, I've got to love you and leave you. Yeah, I should probably get going too. I was going to go into town, but I'm not in the mood. I think I might just go home. Billy's had his um, plea hearing, pleaded guilty. No, you don't. No, I'm going to treat my two favourite ladies to a nice lunch. Cheer you up. Oh, you don't have to do that. That's the wrong response. Oh. Is this because of the hoax call? What hoax call? Oh, just an idiot. I'll be fine. But thank you, you big softy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. We will. All the bananas are all stacked up, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, you look at the pictures in that then. So you're uh, sure you're okay to stay? Yeah, of course I am. Uh, have you called Sophie? Well, if I do, she might tell me not to come. So. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks. What's she doing here? Mum, I, I thought you were asleep. Uh, she's just come to help. Uh, look, don't worry, you go. Don't you tell my son what to do. This is my house. No, Mum, I've told you. I've got a new job. But I, I need you here. Yeah, but we need the money. Look, please, Abby, you just need a little bit of support. I've got support. I've got him. You can't expect him to run this house for you. He's nothing but a kid himself. Look, she's just come to help. That's all, OK? I need to go. Seb! Seb? Who are you? Can I come in? No, who are you? It's Fiona Crawley, Social Services. I just need to have a word. Uh, yeah, come in. And you 
help with childcare? No, she doesn't. They're my kids. Uh, well, no, not officially, I don't, but I do help out now and again. My at mold is shift work. Look, why are you here? Who called you? I'm here because I understand your experience in a few difficulties. <laughs> You're not taking my kids. Believe me, Abby. The last thing I ever want to do is separate children from their mum, OK? That, that's great. That's great one, isn't it? Oh, that's what she says. Look, first thing I want to do is get you a family support worker and we can take it from there. You just need a little bit of support, Abby. Oh, get out! I don't want you here! Look, I'll just take a few notes, if that's OK. Let's get you in the system. I need to just... What is it, Mum? I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Thanks. I'm sorry. If I upset you, I am so sorry. I can see it was cruel of me taking George like that, but I didn't want to see you go. I... No excuse, I know. And she was beside herself. Of course. But I can't hide how delighted I am that you're thinking of staying. We're considering it. That's all. This is just us doing a recce. Seems sensible. Oh, Victoria Court. <laughs> Two good-sized bedrooms. And a modern kitchen with a double oven. And you mentioned that block. I'll send her the link. Good. Anything interesting on the job front? A couple of things, actually, yeah. Just need to do a bit of research. Yes, of course. If it's a help, and if you need some more time, might I suggest that I accompany Angie on the initial viewing? If she wishes to see it. Well, it's hard to concentrate with a baby in tow. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> to be honest, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, property shows. <laughs> Back in the day, Lawrence Wellen Bowen took pride of place above my headboard. <laughs> oh, is that a little bit too much information between us? A mother and a son. Sounds like a good idea. I'll text Ange. I'm going to get off now with Fiona if you're going to be OK. Take care, Abby. You've got my number. No, a key worker will make contact with your mum, but in the meantime, if there's anything... Fine. Thanks. She got them in, you know that, don't you? You heard what they said, they're going to help us. I don't need their help. Of course not. Look, Mum, are you going to be OK with them, so if I go with this job? Job? Window cleaning. I told you, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. You sure? Right. Look, it's, uh, it's going to be OK. Thanks. Bye. This place is like a pigsty. Cluttered workspace, cluttered mind. Exactly. I meant that as a positive thing. Who wants an empty one? Well, I tried to contain it, eh? Uh, this is my flat, remember? If you don't like it, you can find someone else to take you in. I'm sorry. Look, maybe you'd feel better if you had something to think about other than the factory. I doubt it. I could really do with your input. People know you. Look, I'm not sure that's such a selling point right now. Listen, I'm gonna head out. I really do need your help. Get the message, will ya? I'm not interested. What's up with Aiden?
You alright, babe? Long time no see. Speak soon, yeah? Yeah, she's, uh, she's fine. Nothing. They will be able to help her, you know. Hmm, I know. And listen, I just, I just wanted to thank you. Well, I only did the odd meal and read him a few stories. No, he didn't. He did loads. Thanks. I'm just, I'm going to nip to Deb's me and get a few bits. There's some spagbol in the fridge from last night, if you fancy some. So, see you in a bit. What? I hate you. What? Why are you being weird? Why do you think? You two? Me, me and your mum? Yeah. And don't try and deny it, because I know you've been texting and seeing each other. Oh, me and your mum? Oh, man, no, that's, that's just that's just sick. No, you're the one who's sick. And her. No, look, you've, you've got no idea what she's like. I hate her, and I hate you. No, no. No, I don't want to hear it. All them times you said stuff about her, and now... Yeah, but that was, that was before. No, no. Look, look, I just... Hey. Right, okay, right, come on. No, just leave no, me alone. No, just leave me alone. No, look, no. You've got it wrong. Okay? You've got it wrong. There's some stuff that you need to know. So first of all, he's a no-show, and then Anna said he's on his way, and then he's another no-show. So much for supporting the underdog, eh? Yeah, well, maybe someone come up. I think they're having problems. Problems? What sort of problems? Well, boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. Just, yeah, it feels like you're avoiding me, that's all. No, I'm... I just, um... I just feel really awkward. I'm sorry. You can't help how you feel. <clears throat> A double. Man is costing out, you know. Yeah, well... I reckon you've cost me plenty already. So, are you and your little playmate an item now, or what? It's none of your business. Well, I just, just thought I'd give him a few pointers. But then I guess he knows better than anyone what you're capable of. It's a shame I didn't know what you're capable of, innit? You don't look capable of much, if you ask me. Nobody did. 480. Where's Steve? Stevie, baby, is having a power nap. A power nap? So, who won? <laughs> so, if you please. <laughs> now, this is worse than I thought, and as his friends, we need to help. Look, I just don't know why you're okay about my mum coming here, but not me. Well, will you just stop going on about your mum? I know there's nothing going on, but. I felt ashamed. I didn't want you to know what it was like. You know, for me. Hi, oh, yeah. Where's Mum? All right. Will you two go off and play? I'll be off in a minute, yeah? All right, come on. Mum? Mum? Mum! Mum! Mum, it's Harvey. 
Go on, get a move on, will you? Hey, I've got a bit of a surprise for you as it happens. Yeah, I don't think much of this place. Got you somewhere new to stay. You've got a balcony and all. You should know by now, Ben. I don't like surprises. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. No! Wait, she's taken drugs, she's unconscious! I said, no, she'll be okay! We don't know what she's taken! Mum, Mum, it's me! It's me! It's way cool! Yeah, ambulance, please. <laughs> My boyfriend's <laughs> mum's on the floor, she's not moving. Well, I think she's taken drugs. Well, I, I don't know! A bag and some powder! It's way yeah, cool! Yeah, hurry up! We just have to bring on everything! Mum, it's way cool! I've been thinking about this moment quite a lot recently. Where's my mum? What I'd do, what I'd say. Where is she? You must know I wouldn't be able to leave it. But fair play to you, Vinny, you shafted me good and proper. Yeah, because you're a mug. Lovely lady, your mum. Very chatty, to start with. Where's my mum? Oh. She's just an old lady. Yeah. She was your old lady, which made her very special to me. I don't think you've seen this one, have you? Hey? You touch one hair on her head. You touch one hair on her head. Yeah, I'll kill you. Yeah, you've already tried that too, haven't you? Just let her go. Well, I can't do that, sorry. Still, she's had a good innings, hasn't she? What? One thing I'm not, and that's a mug. You hurt me, you pay. No, you haven't. OK, from now on, you do what I tell you. Otherwise, this is going to be the last personal appearance the floor is ever going to make. You haven't got the ball. And he don't you misunderstand. I'm not the same fella you ripped off. I'm not the same man at all. So, are we going to talk business or what? I mean, obviously, she was terrified when the social worker woman pitched up. I mean, anybody would be. But Fiona, that, that sir, that's the woman, honestly, she was ever so friendly. Really, really good, you know. And she said that it was all about Abby being supported, not about punishing her for not being able to cope. Mm, that sounds like a result. Yeah, I think so. And they said there's some benefits as well that she can claim, so they shouldn't be so hard up. No, I told you, didn't I? Yes. You did, all right, Mr. Clever Clogs. No, he stood to reason. There's no way they was going to take those kids off her, not unless she did something really bad, so... it's only ever going to be an upside. So you're saying whoever did tell the social did Seb and his family a favour? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose, then. Eh? Si? Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Mm. All right, keep your head on. I said I'll be there in a minute. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? It's only the money you owe me. That the money you ran off with. I left me to face the music. Not very nice, Vinny, by the way. Oh. And you got 24 hours. 24 hours? I can't get that, can no, I? No, 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 no. Such thing as can't. Only won't. Are you telling me you're not going to give me the money you owe me? You can get your money. That's good. Good. Flora would be proud. Double, please. Do you not think you've had enough? I could always go to the flying horse. You seriously thought she'd have you? Must be hard sleeping on your sister's lumpy sofa. When did Daddy take in? You think you're it, don't you? You think you're the man. <laughs> I'll tell you what everyone else sees, shall I? A joke in a cheap suit. A joke? If it's a good laugh you're after, I watched that wedding DVD of yours. I hear Maria's worn out with a cop. Hey, 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 sit down, sit down, come on, He's not worth it. 
Abby, Abby, can you hear me, Abby? Is she breathing? This is the ambulance service, Abby. Can you hear me? We're going to give her some naloxone. How long she been using? She's not. Not, 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 not for ages. <coughs> I don't want them to see you. Now you know why I've never brought you around here before. I, I just wanted to say, well, I, I just wanted to tell you how excited I am that you're all staying. And if you ever needed any help with George, well, I, I know what a handful they can be. Well, I mean, I can imagine. Sleepless nights and so on. He's still waking up, I presume. <laughs> I know it's going to be a wrench moving here. Especially with you being offered your job back. It's fine. <laughs> well, what did they say, the employer? I mean, they must have been upset when you had to let them down at the last minute. They'll get over it. <laughs> Tracy's always saying how hard it is to find good staff. A little joke. <laughs> but I bet your old bosses knew a good thing when they saw it. Oh, it doesn't really matter now, does it? No. No, no, of course. But, as I've always said, never approach a bull from the front, a horse from the rear, or an idiot from any direction. Well, you've got your decaffeinated tea bags, so all's well with the university. Oh, you're easily pleased. No, no, not really. Well, see you back home later then. Yeah. Oh, uh, Stephen, I've just bought a new yoga DVD. So if you, you know, fancy giving your limbs a workout, then, um, yeah. No, Roy? Uh, no, uh, drains or something. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I'm sure it'll just be a minute. No, George needs changing anyway, so. Oh, well, I'll come with. No, it's it's fine. Yes, Stephen. Ah, Dev. Hey, Dev. Mm. What kind of tea bags do you use? Well, oh, whatever's about to go out of date in the shop. Why do you ask? No reason. What's this? That is going to transform your life, or more importantly, your love life. Fitness tracker. Yes. Now, you see, the thing about exercise is, releases endorphins. Endorphins make us happy. And when we are happy, we give off uh, uh, an air of positivity, a look of confidence, a sense of uh, joie de vivre. So if you want to attract the ladies, you need the endorphins. Uh, uh, do you get it? Yeah. Abby, do you know where you are? They love me! Hey, stop, 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 stop. They're trying to help you. They're trying to help you. Where are you? Do you know where you are? Home. Now that you're stable, I'd like to get you to the hospital. Get them to have a look at you. I'm not going. The effects of the drug I've given you won't last. I need them to take over your care. I said no. I'll take care of her. She may need more. I know. I'll look after her. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Before taking drugs, I mean. 
Mm. Pretty much up until when the twins were born. So when you were little? I don't think I really... sussed it out till I was about... ten. She used to say, I don't feel good. I'm gonna go for a lie down. In the end, I just mess about at school because that way, if I got attention, at least there was someone to talk to. Oh my God. So bad. What about your dad? Just me and her. And sometimes, when she, when she, when she needed a fix, and she, she'd go on a run. She screamed at her. Drove her mad. That all it was my fault. That's horrible. She, she couldn't help it. And I think that's that's why I looked after her for so long, I suppose. <clears throat> you know, because Thought it was all down to me. You shouldn't blame yourself. My mum, my birth mum, she died of an, of an overdose. You didn't call on it, did you? My mum? No. Well, shall I answer it? Yeah. But we don't want to see anyone. You think I'm not depressed about what happened to the factory? It was our family business. Except when it came down to it. You found it dead easy to forget that. Forget that I'm your son. Oh, just listen to the self-pity. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, you need to get yourself out there and make your own way in this world like I did. Yeah, well... We both know I'm not half the man you are, huh? Look, you're smart. You can start again. The Aiden I know relish the challenge of getting stuck in. Make his own mark. Yeah. Well, the Aiden you knew was gone. Well, if you think you can just sit around here moping, putting up at your sisters, getting into scraps, you've got another thing coming. Thanks for the advice, Dad. Yeah, well, having an illness tends to focus the mind. Look, you're not a kid anymore. In fact, you're the one that kept telling me that. So you're just going to have to take everything that's happened on the chin and get yourself sorted out. You only get one life, son. Don't muck it up. Abby? Abby? Are you using regular? She's not. I've told you. I think it's best if we get you unchecked out properly at the hospital. Just make sure she's OK. Now, is there a family member or a friend who could take the twins? There's no one. I can look after them, OK? I always look after them. I know. I know. But the thing is, legally, you're not old enough for them to be left in your care. And Abby, I'm concerned about your condition and your decision not to seek treatments. We will have to take the kids into care. No way! No way! You're not taking... 
kids. But just, just to get the help you need. They're staying with me. I'm afraid that's not possible. But you can't just take them. Hey, Mum. Mm. Anna could have him. No. Anna could the have him. The officer has prepared a police protection order, Seb. Your mum needs help, and we need to make sure the little ones remain safe. They are safe! They're with me! Well, I could help him. I'm afraid that's not possible. Seb, you're 16. You're just out of young offenders. And you need just as much support as they do. I'm not going anywhere. OK. But Charlie and Lexi will go into foster care. Just until your mum's better, and then hopefully... No! 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 It's gonna be OK, isn't it? No, it's not gonna be OK. It's gonna be OK. It's gonna be OK. It's gonna be OK. So, you have to. We need to establish some ground rules. No hanging around the flat during the day when I'm working. Are you drunk? <sighs> no. A bit. I'm sorry, OK? For? It's like being given lines at school. <sighs> I'm sorry for being an idiot, OK? Not the first time, I suppose. And I'm sure it won't be the last. So, how's it going? I'm interested. The truth? Uh-huh. Not as well as I'd hoped. You're still looking for some help, yeah? You. You said it yourself. With your design skills and my business know how. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I reckon we could help each other. <laughs> You. Oh, yeah, Ted, I was going to call out. Just took my chalky with him, eh? What's that for? No. Just for doing the right thing when I couldn't. You know, telling social services. I mean, I wanted to, but... Well, and you think I did? Well, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Well, still, it's the best thing that could have happened, I reckon. You know, social getting involved for them and for us. All right, you two. How's your mum? How do you think? Hey, who do you think you're talking to? She's overdosed on heroin. Is she all right? What about the twins? They took them into care. Why? Because of what you told him. Why do you think? Hey. So who is he then? This bloke. Your replacement? He's a mate. A mate? Yeah. Once upon a time. But like all good fairy tales, it all went horribly, horribly wrong. Vinny Ashford. You building scam, mate. Yeah. 
building scam is not the only thing that's down to him. Yeah? So is Michael's death. Why? You told me it was you. you said that you watched him die. You know, and I'm sorry. I was just trying to get under your skin. I don't know. It was all Vinny's doing. <clears throat> you telling me that he killed Michael? As good as. He's a bad. I just didn't realise how bad until it was too late. And he's going to be my prisoner. Yeah, from tomorrow night, it's all yours. Just don't lie! Right, it's, it's always about you controlling everything. Me and Faye. Me and my mum. Well, that's not fair. She was trying to help you and your mum. Someone called social services. Yeah, but not her. Five minutes back, she was saying she thought it was me. Why would she say that if she knew she'd done it? He's right. No, nah, because you don't want her thinking bad of you. No, Faye, I swear to you. Oh, I... don't. You're pathetic. Because of you, them two little kids living with strangers. I know what that's like, remember? I bet they're so scared. Well, I bet they're so scared because they've just seen his mother pass out from a drug overdose. Look, Seb, I know you're upset, but I swear to you now, I swear I never want to see those kiddies put into care. They trusted me to look after them. You're nothing but an evil cow. Right. You've had your say. Shut it or get out. Oh, don't you worry. I don't want to be anywhere near her. Me neither. No, no, you, you get back here. Faye. You don't get to tell me anything anymore. Next, a new Piers Morgan's life stories with Kim Cattrall in the hot seat, best known for her role as Samantha in Sex and the City. Whilst next over on ITV2, we've the UK premiere of the brand new never-before-seen series of Family Guy. Family Guy.